Everything's major. Everything's major. Hey guys, welcome back to Everything's Major. For today's episode, we're making this delicious, mouth-watering lobster shrimp and grits. This recipe is very easy to make. It's nothing like simplicity when you're cooking. Plus, I'm creating this dish with a little twist. So please make sure you stay tuned for that and keep an open mind. Without further ado, let's get started and let's make it major. First things first, please take a quick second to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that notification bell as well. Now let's get into these ingredients. All the ingredients and directions will be down in the description box. So sit back and relax while I do all the work and you enjoy the ride. First, we're going to turn on our oven to 350 and grab your oil and your sea salt for our sweet potatoes. The oil and sweet salt together really helps bring out the flavor in our sweet potatoes too. So we're going to drizzle a little olive oil on our sweet potatoes and rub it in very well into the skin. Now grab your sea salt and sprinkle all over our sweet potatoes, rubbing them in. Then pop these babies in the oven on 350 until soft. Halfway through the cooking process, flip your sweet potatoes over to make sure it's evenly cooked through. Now let's work on our shrimp. We're going to use, for our seasonings, for the shrimp, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, the twins garlic and onion powder, a little heat with our cayenne pepper, Old Bay seasoning and parsley. Mix all seasonings in very well making sure all the shrimp is coated. Now let's head over to the stove. Grab your frying pan we're going to toss in two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. Now it's time to build in some flavor. We're going to add two tablespoons of mixed garlic, some Old Bay seasoning, oregano, rosemary, garlic powder, and parsley. Now add in your shrimp and cook on each side for a couple of minutes, making sure not to overcook them. When your shrimp turn a pinkish color, that means it's time to flip them over. They should look something like this. Now we're gonna squeeze in a little bit more flavor with some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Remove your shrimp from the pan and set aside. Now it's time to work on our lobster tails for this deep frying. Deshell lobster tails and clean your lobster tail as well. Your lobster tail should look nice and clean, something like this. Now that's a beautiful tail. Let's flavor up these babies with some kosher salt, large seasoning salt, obey, black pepper, the twins, garlic and onion powder, and parsley. Rub all the seasonings in very well. Now, grab two eggs, two tablespoons of hot sauce, 1 4 teaspoon of Obey seasoning, black pepper, kosher salt, the twins again, garlic and onion powder, 
your favorite Cajun seasoning, and parsley. Now blend in everything together very well. Now we're gonna pour our egg mixture all over our lobster tails and mix all together with your clean hands. Now for our dry mix, we're gonna use equal parts of flour and cornmeal, about a cup of each and blend in all together. Like always, we're building flavor, so we have to season our flour as well. Remember, when you're frying foods, you're losing some of the seasoning, so it's best to season our, your dry mix as well. We're going to season our dry mix with some Sazon seasoning, Old Bay seasoning, black pepper, kosher salt, and of course, the twins. Mix thoroughly all together. Now let's work on our grits. For our grits, we're gonna use four cups of chicken broth instead of water. Because we're building flavor, and I'm using an unsalted chicken broth to control the sodium content in this dish. Once broth comes to a boil, let's pour in one cup of grits. Cover and simmer on low. When our grits cook halfway through, we're gonna dab in some kosher salt, white pepper, and a pinch of garlic powder. Pour in about three tablespoons of heavy cream and two tablespoons of butter. Cook until nice and creamy. Guess what time it is? It's time for that twist. The star of the show, the sweet potato. Add in one whole sweet potato into your grits. Yes, we're making sweet potato grits. Trust me, e -E, it is so good. If you haven't tried sweet potato grits before, it's a must try. Be daring, try it at least once in your lifetime. The sweet potato is so sweet tasting and it's going to add a nice smooth texture to our grits. The sweet potato is optional, but you're going to want to try this, trust me, especially if you're a sweet potato lover like me. So we're going to mix in that baby very well. Now get your frying pan and your oil ready and let's fry up our lobster tails. Before we start frying, we're gonna add in one cup of buttermilk to our lobster tails and egg mixture. Mix in the buttermilk very well. Now it's time to test our oil to make sure it's ready for our tails. If you don't have a thermometer, I have a trick for you. You can simply take the end of a wooden spoon and place it in the center of your frying pan. When you see tiny bubbles starts forming around your spoon, that means your oil is ready to fry. Now we're gonna take our tail and place it in a dry mixture. Coat the tail very well, do a little shake, then place in our cast iron skillet. Fry your lobster tails until golden brown for about a few minutes, making sure not to overcook them. So about three to four minutes, but not longer than four. Now we're going to make this delicious Creole sauce to go all over our lobster shrimp and grits. We're going to melt four tablespoons of butter, add in a pinch of kosher salt and a pinch of garlic powder and a tablespoon of your favorite Cajun or Creole seasoning. Squeeze a half a lemon in your Creole mixture, making sure to catch those lemon seeds. We're gonna cook this sauce for about two minutes and we're gonna immediately remove it off the heat. 
guess what? Everything is done, so let's plate it up. Now, my husband, he is very extra. I just wanna warn you, he is super extra. He wanted a stacked brunch plate, so that's what we're gonna do. But please create your dish any way your heart desires. Now it's time for some liquid gold, our Creole sauce. Then we're gonna top in this baby with some green onions, and we're gonna eat. Have fun experimenting and creating your own plates. But I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Guess what? Be happy and healthy and eat in moderation. God bless you, and remember, the best gift is wrapped in love. I'll see you next time. This ends our episode of Everything's Major. Like always, it's always a treat when the majors meet. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Take care and God bless. And everything you do, make sure it's major. Everything's major. Everything's major. Everything's major. Everything's major. Everything, everything's major. major.